Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you about Illustration Group and Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Topic is Illustration Group. See where you can able to find this Illustration Group. So go to Insert tab. You click this Insert tab where you can able to find the Illustration Group, right? So Illustration Group consists of shapes, smart art and char so these are the three things we are going to discuss in this session let me teach you one by one let me sh uh, see shapes so I'm going to insert a new slide and go to insert shapes so these are the various shapes like uh, recently used shapes lines rectangles basic shapes block arrows equation shapes flowchart stars banners callouts action buttons that is a uh, play stop rewind like this so you can able to use banners you can avoid banners you can start with you can use any banners as you like based upon your desired requirements or let's say I'll, okay I will show an example Hi, I welcome you all. So this is a banner. So this is a for example, if you want to insert any other shapes, go to insert shapes. If you don't want to draw rectangle, yes, you can able to draw the rectangles. And if you won't need any other, yes, you are allowed. You can do if you need arrow marks, SC and if you need flow chart you are allowed let us say this is nothing but shapes okay so like this way you can able to use the different shapes different blocks available in the shape based upon your desired requirement what you need if you need any buttons action button or play see you run the program or to play the sound or none or else you can able to have an hyperlink or link to or mouse over so these are the various options you can able to use along with this buttons right so go to shapes if you need action buttons you just click this action button and describe what action is to be taken when you click this button and next comes your smart art okay what is a smart art so here you can able to choose uh, smart art graphics like all list process cycle hierarchy relationship matrix pyramid picture office.com so these are the various smart art so where we can able to define our process or list see various kind different kinds based upon your requirement for what purpose you are using what is your requirement what do you want to explain based upon that you can able to use this or else if you are explaining a process or else if you are going for any cyclic reaction or a cyclic process you can use cyclic hierarchy or relationship for example while deriving databases we are going for relationship during that time you can able to use relationship permits matrix pictures etc etc now I will show an example using hierarchy just click it and click it ok so now I'm going to enter the structure of a college. So where principal will be the head and below the principal HOD will be there. And below HOD just use a tab. So below HOD coordinator will be there and below coordinator just use a tab staff will be there and just use a tab and below HOD you'll be having students also and if you need any other or staff control you can make it and if you need any other just press enter for example enter HOD you'll be having all lab controls and where you can able to format this like this or you can use different shapes 
like this like this or change colors you c you're allowed to change the colors and different kinds of themes are available you can use the themes like this so this is how you want to use a smart art smart art is a wide area where we can able to apply our art based upon our desired requirement based upon the requirement for what purpose you need based on that you can use this smart art so uh, I'm going to insert one more slide and this time I'm going to teach you the chart so here is also the chart symbol once you click this this will come into existence or else go to chart so you based upon our requirement there will be a column chart line chart pie chart bar chart area XY scatter stock surface dug net bubble and radar star so this are various kinds of chart and basically I'm going to use a uh, column chart for an example just click OK automatically Excel sheet will be opened so here I'm going to have it as an uh, let us say first exam and this is an mid exam and let us say this is in final exam and let us say this is a name of let us say electronics A and uh, this will be let us say electronics B and this is captains captain or let us say electrical and let us say this is IT information technology now I'm going to for first exam let us say it's a 50 percent result here are 65 and let us say 70 percent and let us say for this electronics be 55 and 69 and let us say 80 and for electrical uh, let us say 45 55 and 58 for let us say IT let us say 89 90 and 96 see whenever you do the changes automatically the changes will be reflected right here this is how you want to use graph sorry chart in your presentation like this you can able to use different kinds of charts just go to insert and go to chart where you can able to see different kinds of charts based upon your requirement you can able to use this charts and just run it and see and this is shapes smart art example for smart art and chart i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you